I thought I thought yesterday's thing was awesome. I mean, that was a bucket of fun. Good. I, I had such a good time having enough people to do a four player thing and and toady was such a good sport too you know it's not every day you can uh hmm. <laughs> just unload on one person and single yeah. them out and, and uh, destroy but them i do think that that was the best game that we played yesterday whenever we decided to take on toady all of us yeah uh, and i i think yeah i wouldn't mind doing that again i i find the four power one um i i <clears throat> i i did find um, that it was a lot of responsibility to be on Toadie's team sometimes. <laughs> I think Hello, as long Nathan. as uh, Athena never makes it into the mix, we'll, we'll probably be okay. Um, and hi, you name. I don't know what that would be like. Never tried that. Wow. I do like both of these and oh, I really like Aphrodite so much. Aphrodite, uh, the power of Aphrodite is that if your opponent starts near you at the start of their turn, they must end near you. And against Hippolyta, ooh, I don't know how this is going to work. I can't, I can't really predict which of these is going to be stronger. I, I've got a suspicion that it's going to be uh, devastating one way or the other. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I think it's going to be really one-sided as well for the same reason. Uh, yeah. the limitation powers and somebody's got to limit the other more. Um, and uh, Hippolyta has got the ability that um, all of the workers can only move diagonally. They can't move, uh, they can't move orthogonally except uh, your queen. So this is going to be fun. Wow. So my, my thinking here is that with this female worker, I'll have a lot of options to kind of circle around your guys that I wouldn't have otherwise, you know, mm -hmm. with just the ability to move diagonal. So I've got more, more flexibility opened up to me. And, uh, and I've got a lot less flexibility to move. So, And a lot of your choices, I guess what I'd like to do is limit your choices to you either have a choice of A or B, you know, you can either move the worker this way away from me, away from your power exerting influence over me or the other way. And I just accept that for a turn. So I, I guess we'll see. Right. Okay. What do I want to accomplish here? Do I want to block your ascent? Um, I can do that in many different ways, I guess. So let me go like that. And I will just build here. So Nathaniel, um, we will get to you momentarily. <laughs> uh, tell us about what you would have chosen for Aphrodite versus Hippolyta. Hmm. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I I don't feel know. Like, no. You feel powerful? I, no, I feel like somebody's out there that's played this before, and it's not me. And uh, and they'd be able to tell you right away. Oh, that was miserable for Aphrodite's side. Or yeah, so I think I need to start making some. I I, I need to start limiting the middle. I don't want this to build. So I'm going to let you up there. What, what I'm worried about is that if, if you build just on the periphery, um, then everything's close to me. That doesn't make me happy. Oh, so it's Aphrodite versus Hippolyta. Nice. Have you ever played this? I don't think I have. Or if I did, it was in like Odyssey or something.
I definitely don't have um, strong opinions currently of uh, which god is better, although although Venus does look like he's in a better spot. I'm guessing. I, I'm inclined I'm to sure say my, my gut reaction is that Hippolyta is the one that I am used to having the mission of building up height in the center to limit the opponent's movement. So I'm thinking that level one on C3 maybe just handed me a pretty decent opportunity, but we'll mm -hmm. see. Hmm. Right. I think about those matchup a little bit. I'd say that Hippolyta probably really wants to um, have the same color worker, same color square, like same diagonal worker, be like attached to that one of Aphrodite. Because then if they ever move, they're like losing their control on that one. Does that make sense? You mean to, to keep a piece on the exact same diagonal that Aphrodite occupies? I mean, um, so see how your B3 piece is adjacent to the A3 piece? Sure. I think it's much better for you if you're uh, that one. And like, I don't think it's necessarily worth it trying to create this situation. But I think uh, what you really want to have happen is have that one be controlled only by the the dark square worker, so like the D3 one, if it was on C2 or something. Sure. The idea being that uh, whenever that worker moves, you're suddenly out of its control. And then you can do a duel with the other two workers, kind of. Does that make sense? Because if the two workers are um, locked to the same squares, then whenever one of them moves up, uh, they won't be adjacent. Sure. The downside is, of course, that you wouldn't have moves with that worker. Right. Hmm, maybe that's a mistake. Let me rethink this. Wow. That's interesting. Uh, what do I do with that? Hmm. 
Well, I don't like this for obvious reasons, but I think it's right. Um, it's okay. I think the heavy hills and valleys is definitely in my favor. Especially in the center of the board. That, that three in the center of the board that's impenetrable, I think that's in my favor. Hmm. So I think if you choose to block me there, I guess I'm operating under the theory that hopefully that'll give me an opportunity to block you. Had you tried to throw up a level two. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, so that might not have been a good move. Yeah, that's probably a bad move on my part. Okay, that was a bad move. Wow. I think Ward's fine here. Okay. Um, yeah, but I'm just not sure which direction to go here. So, <clears throat> if I go this way, yeah. Hmm. If I may, um, or should I? I don't know. Go for it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go for it. Go for it. This um, is. Uh, yeah. So if you go that way, you obviously can't oh, build on thinking, V2 because thinking, um, that would be bad. You yeah, just I'm build again. I'm thinking. But I think uh, I thought the move to A3 build like B2, give yourself two level two ideas seems good. A3 to B2. Yeah. Oh, that that's that's very strong. Yeah, that's very strong. Um, okay, uh, sorry, it made the move for me there, Kevin. <laughs> that was well. When, that was perfect. when you've got a good idea on hand, uh, take it. Yeah, yeah. no shame in that at all. Um, even if it's not one's own idea, uh, just go for it. But I mean, it, it, it's it's still very reasonable. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, I, I don't see it. What did you think of the other move that I was thinking of? Um, moving to C1 and building on C2. It looked very passive, but I thought it actually had some merit. I didn't see the idea, of it, but maybe there was something there. Um, it forced um, the D3. I think that I would probably do D3 to C2. Then, yeah, yeah you, you had to. Otherwise, that was very bad. But uh, doing that and building on D1 might be uh, very tough for you to deal with. In my eyes, you want like that worker to be staying on uh, that square for as long as possible. I think that's a forced win for you now, Gord. So I go here. And... How is this a forced win? Um, okay, I can do this. How is that a forced win? Um, oh, yes. Yeah. A forced win with help, Daniel. <laughs> okay. 
Yes. Okay. So, uh, do it. Good. That was interesting. Good I job. I felt I felt that the the C three was kind of a critical tower to build for me there. Hmm. Um, would you two like to embark on a uh, an journey of Santorini? Yeah, I uh, I think my fatal flaw probably was not getting that female worker off the ground. Yeah, yeah, that one's probably the one you want to try to get the most work in with. Yeah, I was uh, I was working too hard with the bad worker, I think. Yeah. Cause um because that worker ended up getting tied up with the other one. And it was just like, okay, well, if those two workers are useless, then um then clearly he has an edge by being Aphrodite, I guess. Sure. Then we're left with two slightly less useless workers. <laughs> So you guys uh, start up again, and I will go and watch. You want to send the invite, or should I? I was hoping you would, since I was going to play my okay. baseball a couple turn-based things. Cool. And tell me whenever you, the game started, and I will jump in. You should have the invite. All right. I just was uh, coming up with a fancy move to win on something. All right. Uh, uh, it's, like, it's like watching an artist work. <laughs> oh, did you see my move in the turn base thing? No, no, I didn't. I'm sure uh, you're on my team, though, so I'm, I'm going to want to see that move, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, it, that's the other Hippolyta game, isn't it? We, uh, we did have a slightly quicker win, but um, I think you missed that Minotaur was coming up. Rats. Yeah. Yeah. That, uh, that seems to be a, a common denominator lately. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, I'm not sure if we had a quicker win with that position on the board. Oh, yeah, I guess if you went for a win, mm, yeah, if you went for a win on beats on D4 instead of. Uh, Can you show the, the game? Oh, yeah, I guess I should yeah. do that. So I, I should, uh, I should uh, let you show. I should probably decide which of these I actually want for first, I guess. Hmm. This is interesting. I feel like Apollo has to be way better. In I mean, uh, in that particular match, what are you talking about? In this match, uh, sorry, I was looking back at the other thing, at oh. the game that was. Uh... Oh, wait. I don't have anything. Oh. oh, okay, sorry. I had a different game off. Wait, what? Sorry, give me a second. I'm looking at my tables. What game did I just play? I think you can conclude we... Uh, oh, we, we have we two play games a lot of going Santorini. between us at the same time. <laughs> okay, my bad. All right. Uh, Is that, that your final answer? Wait, what's up? Is that your final answer? What? I'm just, I'm just joking with you. Uh, okay. <laughs> I haven't played enough Nemesis lately, though. That would be a good match for Nemesis. Do you have anything in mind? The Charybdis Nemesis was fun. I think it still kind of favors Charybdis. Huh. Yeah. I don't feel like dealing with whirlpools. Would Aeolus Nemesis be of any interest? Sure, why not? Let's do it. So Aeolus has the power of setting the wind at the end of each turn, and no player, including Aeolus, can move into the wind uh, at any time. At the end of your turn, you can pick up the wind token and then play it on a future turn. Nemesis has the power that uh, at the end of your turn, if none of your workers are uh, besides uh, our neighboring 
an opponent's workers, you can actually switch positions with the opponent. So those are the workers we're dealing with. The blue ones are Sheldon the Conqueror and uh, playing Nemesis. Venus Flytrap playing Aeolus. So playing against Nemesis, do you try to stick close? Yeah, I think that's, that's what I'm in the conundrum of. I, I'm going to have to. Yeah. Hmm. I'll tell you guys my little running joke about, uh, nemesis so i see it as a power that you try to literally play the worst game of santorini that you can possibly play the dumbest moves the worst positions and you set yourself like i mean you know correct me if i'm wrong but uh that's a tra major. trap your own workers and then hand that off to the opponent yeah the key is uh figuring out how to get your workers space from your opponent to begin with which sometimes is a daunting task. task. We'll see whether or not it turns out to be one here. Playing against Nemesis, I'm always trying to balance. Don't make too good a move. Just make a, an okay move doesn't have to be great. One thing I, I think Nemesis, playing against Nemesis, it's very, very hard to 
um, assess the quality of uh, who's winning this. I, I, oh. I, I find it next to impossible. Do you? Do you yeah, feel- it can be very tough for sure. Um, currently, I have no clue. Yeah, I'm just pretty good. So what are some of the grand strategic ideas that you have, both of you? Hmm. Well, for me, it's kind of like whack-a-mole. He, uh, he just keeps trying these little little things, and I have to chase him away and, and stop him. <laughs> Ideally, these... I don't get uh, too close to the edge, because if I get into a spot, like say if I'm on E3, if he gets to work on D3, I have to take two moves to get away from that. That's exactly yeah. what I'm hunting for is a position yeah. where I get two turns to do whatever I want and he will not let me have it. Yeah. I'm in an awkward position now though, because uh, with the A file as built as it is, it, um, it makes me nervous at least because uh, essentially if the board shrinks too much, then I won't be able to use my power. Right. So that, that's exactly what I would be doing against Nemesis is aiming for board shrinkage at all costs. What with Aeolus? Sounds like board shrinkage is a great way to go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
So I'm hoping to socially isolate the C2 worker so that his uh, B5 worker has to play double duty. I see. So C2, you want to... I don't want that one to stand anywhere near me for the foreseeable future. Well, right. maybe for right now on this very move, it's okay. Right. But I don't. I definitely don't want it to get to, for instance, D three. Right. So you're you're gonna, you know, temporarily you're gonna go close, but then you're planning on yeah getting away. I'm from... Mostly debating between moving to E four or to uh, C three. Either case, build D three. Got it. Also worth knowing is if I play C four to C three, I lose on the spot because of just. Uh, Oh, no, I guess I could play that. C4 it doesn't look very C4. good, though. I'd, uh, I thought that I'd lose on the spot because of Aeolus uh, moving to A4, building A3, and placing Wind, but then I'd just swap with him, so I wouldn't lose immediately, but I'm not sure if I'd have a great position. Right. Yeah, I'm just looking for one opportunity to jump. Set up my little level three. So part of the idea behind having a second of work on C3 is that um, if I don't want to swap with the next turn, I have two things that can move to B4 to build A3 if he tries for a winning threat there. Hmm. That's what I was looking at. I think this move is strong, but I'm not 100% sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Actually, I might back myself into more of a side than I'd like to. I'm not sure if this is good or bad. Uh, I think this is fine. Yeah. Because if this move does force him to d5, then I like my position very much. I'm not sure if it does, though. He can try going to B5, place the wind so that I can't move up, and I can either do his threat or swap. I think if I swap, I win immediately. Wrong way for the wind. Yeah, yeah, I know. yeah. But um, but even so, that move loses immediately. Oh wait, no, I can't swap. I can't swap on my side. Yeah, okay, that seems reasonable then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I. I'm liking Aeolus just because the board is getting cramped. Even though you're you're missing Aeolus's C2 worker is a bit out of the action there. I think I like this position for me tactically. I'm not sure how I feel about it strategically. Mm -hmm. I think it's just um, because my tactics, I believe, will force him into an awkward spot. It's not because this thing's like inherently a better board position for me. Right. So I don't have any ability to swap this turn. So my only reasonable move is building on this. Right. 
Yeah, and that was forced. Uh, well, it wasn't more forced. Or less. It wasn't forced. Yeah, I guess not quite forced. I I was thinking of moving to. Uh, yeah, no, I think it's better to cap it. Yeah. Um, the issue was that I could move to E4 and build on D3, but as long as you move the wind, you should be able to do in one and uh, wind the other. Well, I I, I want to save the wind placement for whatever yeah. whatever yeah, turn exactly. I end up letting you swap with me. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. It's my it's my get out of jail free for maybe one yeah. turn card. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this one is interesting. Hmm. Yes, it is. Hmm. I think it's good. I don't know. Oh, yes. That's yep. good. That's very good. I think you need a better position. The position's not good enough. <laughs> That's fun. That is fun. <laughs> yeah. Why well, I couldn't even beat Aeolus with that kind of position. I tell you what. But this one, maybe this one's good. Uh, I suppose I actually should think about this, whether um, it's better to have a C2. Because he's probably going to move to whichever one I don't build the next turn. So do I want that to be C4 or, uh, or C5? So yeah, th this looks not more like Nemesis game. This looks what nasty. Wait, what? Give me a second. Um. Oh, interesting. Huh. What was the point of that? I mean, it, um, there, it, there it, is it, no it, point, but um, it, the reason it gave it to code, you as an option, though. The reason it's in the code is if you're playing against Selene. Yes. Or a Hippolyta. Or a yeah. Or the reason why they aren't, don't just like include the one specifically is because also stuff like, uh, you know, Nyx with Selene or. That kind sure. of thing. So I can definitely force the wind out in this turn, which is very nice. And I'd be hard pressed to find a better move than that. I think. Because if I try something like build on B5, then it actually gets super awkward when um when he just moves to C4 and stops me from moving down. Well, let me have it. <laughs> so I think I could go for it. Oh, I can't even do that. Oh, that's... Can I? Hmm. You might have to. Oh, uh, that's open. interesting. You might oh, have to my. open B four up back to me again. Yeah, yeah, that's actually a good point. Hmm. I mean, that's you know that that's a pretty pretty decent little threat there. Trying to level two on B two. Oh, you've both got awesome threats. So, the Venus flytrap has got a threat on D five. 
Hmm. That's quite a significant threat too. If I'm not mistaken, I, I think that's a force to win once I get yeah, you. Yeah, I don't see a good out. way of stopping uh, it. Yeah. I mean, and then I I have two level twos the next turn. Yeah. I don't I don't see a spot you can Let's move away to to that. Yeah. So wait, if you go to Yeah, A5, I think that's it. Yeah, if I uh, swap with A5, the issue yeah, is then you have to build on the spot. Yeah, then you have to build on on yeah. B4, B5. So yeah. Wow, that was that was fascinating. I went back and forth there of who I thought had the advantage. Yeah. That tends to be the way a nemesis game usually works. <laughs> Well, dang, I still got it. <laughs> I was worried there. Yeah. So I was surprised you, is this okay? If you'd, if you'd gone, jumped down into E5 with your other worker, I, th I think that was a win. But now I'm concerned for you. I'm not concerned for him as long as he finds the correct move here. If he doesn't, then maybe he is, he is concerned. Oh. Yeah, did I just botch that? Um, I think I did. Well, certainly the E5 move was a sure win. Yeah, I didn't see that one. So. You jumped into the E5. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, because then... Because then, then the only way that he could recover would be to go into C to cover you would be C five, and then you just. But I couldn't. I couldn't win if I jumped into E five, because the guy that's on level two is on E four. Am I am I missing something? Oh. Oh, I think you're going to be okay. Oh, maybe not. He he should be winning on. I think you're, the you're, you're okay, but you're going to start of this move. I think you have to pick up your. Oh, um, sorry. Where where are you? See, oh yeah, you had to move there, and then you you're going to pick up your. Oh oh I'm oh, yeah. I thought all this time you could move on to B four, and I was wondering why I didn't. Okay, yeah. yeah. Then no no no, we can't move on to B four. So that's why it's so. Oh, so okay. Tricky for him. Um, yeah, it's like very shocked that you didn't. So, just, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm oh. dead. <laughs> now, I, I yeah, you have to build on A5, right? Oh. I don't know if you are. Yeah, I think oh, that's not building on A5. Yeah, I think you have to do that. And then I see. you have a move like that. Um, vr, 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 vr. I, I, so I can force him to do that and win. Yeah. And then after that, I should be good, right? Because yeah, he nice. builds and wins. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, as I was saying, like, not never close. Good. Always had it. Defeat from the jaws of victory. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was that was a tough one. Yeah, yeah. Well, I need a I need a moral support level three, so I'm going to do that. There you go. There you go. That was a good one, man. Yeah, yeah. That was very exciting. The missus always uh, burns up your brain cells. Hmm. Well, Gord, <laughs> looks like you're the lucky guy now. Okay, I am. I will need help. <laughs> I can tell you that right now. Is this uh, going to be 2v1 style or something? Yep. You got it. Oh, nice. All right. Uh, I'm down for that. Okay. So breaking, the, uh, breaking the mastermind. Okay. 
And I'm going to send you an invite. There we go. Well, I got within a light dusting of victory, so I'm. Oh yeah, that I'm. Was, yeah. I'm. I'm pretty stoked. Okay. Hmm. This choosing of the god powers is certainly one of the most joyous parts of the game. <laughs> I just <laughs> love this. Can I say something? Um, yeah. Sheldor is in my mind, one of the best Hydra players of all time. So I'm just going to throw that out there. And, and to everybody that's watching, and I mean, it, it's, it's kind of killer to see the way that this guy well, thank manu you. maneuvers this power. Um, hey, and well, and I've, told, I've told him such, but you could just sit there and watch some of the moves he makes. Just uh, it, It's crazy oh. level stuff. So well, maybe yeah. we're not going to let him have that opportunity. How about that? <laughs> That's fair, but I picked something that uh, Hydra versus Aeolus is a very two-sided matchup. There's, uh, there's going to be a lot of play regardless. Okay, here we go. Now, I, I have to say that this seems like it's going to favor me a little bit. I think um, I think I may have missed up slightly with my starting position placement, but I think I'm fine. I think that's probably a mistake, though. Right, Tio. You mean to give you the the spot? The C three, yeah. I I think that's bad. Okay. So here, I don't have a strong feeling. So I'm. Are you okay if I just uh, perpetuate? Sure. Okay, that's just... You may eventually want some more coverage on the right-hand side of the board if he chooses to start building up over there. Yeah, I'm definitely going to go that direction. Then... Coverage coming. But, Say uh, no more. Yeah, we definitely, at this point... Oh, I must this... use Hydra's power. Okay. Um... We cannot beat him on speed, so he has a faster threat. If you just went straight to level three and one, than than we do. Right. Yeah. So I'm not sure if this helps us. Um, having a that in the middle, I think, is bad for us. It's not great, but I think it's better than having Aeolus on a couple of level twos. Yeah, I agree. But you don't join me. It's an open uninvited thing, and it's an open uninvitation. Mm hmm. Okay. Not happy with that. Um. So, I. I, so, I, if I may, um, the key to playing the Hydra side of this is to swarm near where Aeolus is trying to set up things, and then, um, but you have to be careful of how you place your workers because if you cover squares that you need to move to to build on, that can be like something Aeolus can use. Mm -hmm. but in general, the idea is swarm a ton of workers near the ones Aeolus has, try to get someone up on a level next to him, and then work from there. So I'm I'm going to start with doing an, a move that. Looks like it's sacrificing, but um, yeah, I think I feel really uncomfortable with that three staying there, even though I don't like an inert tower there either. I think this is, I don't think I can probably do that much better than that. You step in if you disagree, Venus flytrap. Oh, we'll see where this goes. It's, it seems curious to me. I probably would have moved to E3 and built a level one down on, let's say, E2 or something. But if you have a chance to move up, then, you know. Yeah, but what a chance this is. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the thing. That's why you keep, uh, like, a few workers so, so you can sacrifice if your opponent offers you yeah, something like this. I didn't see that coming. Okay, 
Uh, Venus flytrap. So the danger here is, of course, I, I move up here and then I have to remove one of my hydras, which is... I, I think oh, and the uh, side thing that you might not notice is um, I also have the option of orienting the wind wherever you build so that you don't get to uh, keep that work on level one. Actually, I think this was a blunder by me. There is like some interesting line that I see. Uh, okay, so... Um... My personal feeling, I mean, and feel free to agree, disagree, whatever. Actually, I guess that I have a good one. I think you've got to move up and sacrifice that last worker. Yeah, I think I like. How about that? I'm, I, I'd be fine with that. I, it would be. I think it'll uh, fatal, be very to... regrettable, as you'll see shortly. Oh, boy, boy. <laughs> That's not good. Oh wait, no, that doesn't work. What am I doing? Okay, yeah, maybe that's fine. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Okay. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you think about that? Yeah, that's. Uh, I, I think that's yeah. that's probably what I'd play too. I, I definitely liked your move square. I think uh, it, it it allows you to get a little bit closer to him. Limits, even if he decides to use the wind here. Right. And in fact, yeah, that uh, placement's kind of like moving an extra step. So just out of curiosity, Nate, why would you leave us the option to? You know, level, because I missed that, that, but it might actually be fine anyway. Let's see. I just was wondering why you were more concerned. Yeah, with no, that was a blunder. Then... Yes, I forgot that that one could move to D three. So the only reason I used my win there was to stop you from moving D three A three. I'm not going to say that my position is terrible yet, though. It would be nicer if my uh, two workers were put. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, okay. That was yeah, I, I'm... I mean, you... <laughs> You can, you can go with your, uh, your artistic interpretation of moves. <laughs> we're fine yeah. with that. Right. Well, I am definitely going to do that.
Okay. That's, <laughs> that's a pretty good one. Yeah, I'm keeping I'm keeping that disc off the playing field because I've got such a nasty set of threats here. Yes. Which is I may have uh, blundered many times. Okay, what am I gonna do here? Okay, if I do that, that. Okay, I think that's a forced win. So I can go like this. Oh, wait a second, I have to think about losing. I would people. definitely place wind in that scenario, but maybe that's uh, not for it to be a forced win. A forced win. Okay. <laughs> the problem is, is that I have some forced stuff here that I have to deal with, but I think I've got a forced win. So. I go like this, I build here, and I lose this one here. You, oh no, that doesn't work, darn it. Yeah, no, it doesn't work. <laughs> okay, I lose that one, confirm. Okay, that does work. So you have to use the power, right? Oh, but you can move there. Oh. Well, you can. Uh, oh, you can. You can move C four. Yep. Up. No. 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 Move him and and level three. Or yeah, that that'll work too. You could have gone on A five as well. Ah. Uh, yes. Right. 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 All right. I've been dethroned, it seems. Could there be a new Hydra player in town? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I would I would give Hydra the advantage there. What what do you think, Nathaniel? Oh, um, I think it's a very even matchup. I misplayed okay. it horribly, and if you let me get a level two on uh I mean, you let me get a level two on C2, and I threw that away, and then I threw away my level one. Hmm. Like, there was a very clear set of two turning points in that game where I played uh, very clear blunders. Right, right, right. Okay. Um, I've been Toady with Hydra both times I played it against him, but I think it's a very tight matchup. Neither of them felt free. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was a particular, I mean, that's what I was, this, this matchup, there's a particularly great game that they played, Hydra yeah. and Aeolus. Uh, that was just a fantastic, fantastic game. Wow. Um, I'm sending you an invitation. Oh, Bob. right. Like My bad. And I was spacing out while talking. Okay.
Okay, I am going to. Oh, that that one that I talked about that was fun. Oh, so, the Knicks and yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so here we have. So I think Lemus has an advantage here, but um, this was crazy fun. Oh no, that's hmm. not what. Okay, confirm. And this was. Go, Apollo. Uh, this was crazily awesome. I really enjoyed this game immensely. So mm. that's interesting to me. I'd expect like Knicks to have a very hard time. In yeah, it could be that there was an early blunder on the Lemus side, which made this fair. Mm. That's possible. But it turned out to just be this back and forth, tight, cool, uh, totally joyous game. OK. Yeah, we've had some that have been kind of some crazy turns. I mean, that, uh, that Nemesis one, man, that was just like back and forth and back and forth. and. I don't know. I, for some reason, I feel like if I if I when I do win as Nemesis, you you do have several turns that are like that, where it's just whoop 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 whoop, and then all of a sudden you get delivered a win. So what, uh, Nathaniel? What bias would you give this game? Which direction would you go? Oh, yeah. I mean, my prediction is uh, Lina should have a big edge. It feels like um, they can stop you from flipping your power by just standing next to the level two that you go for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm hoping to do is uh, feel very threatened yeah. by level twos. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Like, yeah, for some reason, I thought he could overbuild me if I did that. And I think I'd prefer. Actually, there's probably an even better. Oh, wait, no. 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 Yeah, that's good. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, what do I do with this?
Hmm. Okay, so if I did that, if I did this, not saying I'm going to, but if I did that, then you go up there, and I force you to go down there, do that. <clears throat> versus that. Okay, let me go like this. Then if you go there, that's not good for me. Okay, so I am going to do that one. I'm not, uh, I'm not confident here. And I'm not confident I shouldn't go to C2 and just expedite that treatment. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure which is fire either. So. Not sure. Not sure. Yeah. Okay. That seems really bad to me, though. For me, like, uh, no. Uh, well, I think the I think Kevin played a blunder there. Just putting it on B three. Yeah, yeah. The build yeah, on B three. I B3 think the B three is bad. Yeah. Um, but the other, the, the movement up to C. Yeah, movement up to C2 is perfectly reasonable. Good. But this, I don't think was. Yeah. Right. I'm not sure if it's enough for the position to necessarily favor you or anything, though. No. So for sure, I'm going to think. Here. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's, that's just a little what, end yeah. on the spot. One after the other, man. Yeah. <laughs> you can see it's one of my good days. Well, one well, of mine too, I suppose. That's it. Yep. There's a there's another one for your trouble. <laughs> oh. The best move here is uh, D two C three, and uh, just say no. <laughs> D2. Actually, no. That that no, no. That one moves. That one moves. D two C three, um, and that that would just be so funny. <laughs> just walk them off. Exit stage left. Okay. Yeah. Is it truly a win if you win by reaching level three instead of trapping your opponent? Um. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. You uh, you have to you have to win. To trap. You have to win with a flourish, or it's not really a win. I mean, if, if I don't see like a a brilliancy come out in in that particular game, then you didn't try hard enough. Um, shall we do one game after this one and then that's it? So this will be the penultimate one. Sounds reasonable to me. Sure. Okay. So I've sent you an invite, Sheldor the Conqueror. Hmm. Yeah, I, I have to I, choose again. I coughed that one up pretty easy, didn't I? I yeah, do want to see more hide. Though. Yeah, try that one again. I, I, I'm interested in it if. Uh... Oh, the rematch of Hydra versus Aeolus? No, 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 no. Oh, because I would like to do that again. Because okay, I yeah, yeah, severely misrepresented the Aeolus side. Okay, so I am going to go for this Hydra experience. Yeah. There's a, there's a couple of things I want to do differently, I think. So I think starting my workers on B3 and C3 uh, gets them separated very quickly, so I'm not super fond of that anymore. I'm going to try something like this instead. OK. 
Okay. If I didn't you place that way in one of the games where you just beat the snot out of me? Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, and I and I and you placed that way, and I went question mark in my brain when I saw it, and then just absolutely killed me. <laughs> mhm. Mm so one of the threats is actually getting my things built to level two, so I decided not to build on V2 there. I'm perfectly fine with letting you build up on the other side of the board if I'm making uh, comparable threats, I think. I'm not 100% sure on this. And so you'll respond by level twoing that. Oh, okay. I'm considering this option. Yeah, it's a little weak. I don't think there's a good reason for me to level two uh, C1 though. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, maybe there is. Because I thought maybe like in a future move you could put something on D1 and keep him off. Yeah, yeah, I think you're actually right on that. Potentially have two level twos from that position. But and I don't I don't know. Anyway, I don't want to get involved, but but I am involved. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'm using the wrong word. I actually like this move a lot. No, I hate that. Oh, no, that move's fine. I thought you could move to D1, build C2, but you can't because of the wind. Yes. Well, I'm glad both of yourselves were right. <laughs> In your inner struggle there, Nate. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go like, oh, that's interesting. Oh, no, that's not what I want to do. Yeah, okay, that doesn't do. seem very good. Go like this and like that and like this. Oh, yeah, that's reasonable. That's what I wanted to do. Okay. I have a question for you guys to ponder and comment on, and that would be, how often do you think there's utility in placing the wind such that it works for multiple turns on whatever you want to accomplish in the game? So for example, here, you know, having it face that direction, you could you could keep it in play for a couple turns. Hmm. Is is that is that strong? Is that something you try to generate as a as an? I don't. I don't thing, necessarily or? try to make that happen, but I guess it did happen quite a bit here. Yeah, there's definitely utility in thinking about uh, whether you should just leave the wind because it's still helpful in that direction. Yeah. So yeah, I'm not happy with this. I can tell you that. Uh, that's a very... yeah. It's awkward yeah. placing the worker on D3 because you really want to move. The... Well, I guess it's awkward moving C4 then because you really want to place a worker on C2 kind of. But um, I think it's very tough to play against this because you'll need to have two people constantly eyeing D1. So eventually, you'll have to sacrifice down to just those two workers unless we can carry a character in time. Yeah, I'm really not enjoying this. I don't know what to do with this. Uh, Venus Flytrap, any any suggestions from this position? Doesn't look good for me. So. <laughs> Turn into Scylla and drag that worker out of D2. <laughs> so you have some better options. That's uh, that's about all I got. I feel like if you're going to turn into Soul, you want to drag the D2 worker out, but maybe that's just me. The... 
which worker? Well, if he, he became Sola for a turn, probably oh, Dragon Sola, Sola, worker. Yeah. Sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, it seems to be the one that's limiting your defensive options. So, what, I mean, what he's got right here is he's funneling you to potentially a situation where you only have one spot that can offer yeah, defense I, in his power. I, and there's only two spots over. next to it that you can easily access, which is another big deal. So, yeah, yeah, I have to, I think I have to move up there. Oh, yeah, maybe that's fine. Yeah, but I'm not happy with it at all. Yeah. And yeah, that's what I'm saying. I need to have my workers closer together because I let them get a little divided last time. I think you might have needed to build on D1, but I'm not sure. I mean, that's a, that's yeah, a forced win. I had built on D1. No, it's, it's not yet a, D, a forced win because you can spawn a worker on C2. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry, let me start that. Didn't see. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're right. He doesn't have to move D three to C two and and delete a worker. He can he can just spawn one here. Yeah. But even so, that only works for a turn. But then you have to move hmm. some someone, and and that that move is going to offer more defensive options. Yeah. Uh, well, which, mine. Uh, yeah, never mind. <laughs> but, oh, forget yeah. it. Yeah, you, you, hey. uh, you, you literally had to move to C three and spawn on C two to make that uh, workable. Mm -hmm. And actually, yeah. the, the game probably opened up for you after that. Yeah, I thought that if he did that, I'd just uh, move up and build on E three, and then since he needs to keep both C two and C one in place, he'd have to. Uh, oh. Oh, I guess that's interesting. I guess he can sacrifice the C3 worker somehow. And then next turn, he moves back up to C3 again. But it seems like a cycle that he's trapped in there. I'm not necessarily. Okay. Uh, yeah, I've got new respect. Aeolus. Definitely got new respect for Aeolus against Yeah, him. yeah. I, I played some noble. Like, yeah. Like, Aeolus definitely has a shot in the matchup. He's much better early than... Uh, than Hydra's, and he has to take advantage of that to get Hydra in a position where Aeolus is stronger in some way. You guys are up for the final game of this session. Oh, cool, let's do it. Yeah. Oh, another, another surprisingly interesting matchup is uh, Hydra versus Morpheus. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Never tried that. I think that it might be Morpheus favoring, but it's very unclear. Actually, yeah, I don't know. The intuition says that it would be like uh, clearly Morpheus favoring, okay. but then like Game's want open. a game, a uh, Hydra player want a game against me as Hydra, and then like I also managed to pull that one out occasionally. So what uh, what do you have in mind? Uh, I'm enforcing Hydra and AOL. We can go Hydra Morpheus. I mean, I, I really like builders. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. So, that one's always very interesting. I mean, I, I'm, I'm smarting from... Uh, I think I'm still going to give Hydra the first move. I think that seems kind of necessary. So you guys have been watching Hydra. Um, Morpheus has the ability of whenever they build, instead they can just build on their god card. And then at any future turn, they can take all of those blocks that have been saved up on their god card and turn them into any blocks that they want and build them around the worker that moved. When designing these god cards, it is sometimes fascinating how balanced things are that are totally you would never guess that they could be remotely close to balanced and they end up being reasonably close that's a really fun part so i don't doubt that at all i'm sure it's like a kid playing with toys i mean he probably had the best time it's so fun do you have any specific sort of memories along the way of either one of these powers i mean that that stuff is just fascinating to me when you talk about sort of their developmental phase yeah. Um, any any kind of roadblocks along the way, or you know, was Morpheus almost another power? Or, yeah, 
anyway, I'll, I'll... I, I forget if Hydra is my power or somebody else's power. Certainly, if it was some, if it was my power, I definitely had a lot of help in designing it. But it might have been somebody else's power to begin with. Um, Morpheus uh, was mine, and uh, designing that, uh, it, it was one of these gods. You just have to try it. What happens if if you don't have to play and you just build up this reservoir? And it immediately just seemed reasonably balanced. So it was, uh, it, there, there was really not a lot of what, how should we manipulate this? Is this too strong? Is this too weak? So it was none of that. It was uh, instantaneously, okay, I think this is going to work. I think uh, Morpheus is generally considered on the strong side, but this is like a weird matchup where uh, Hydra has a pretty good chance against him. Double builders uh, are reason are sometimes reasonable against Morpheus. I think um, from what I remember, they need to be like on Prometheus Terpsichore level of double builder strong instead of like Hephaestus or Demeter. Demeter. so interesting to hear Demeter talked of as lower than Prometheus and I, I always I always enjoyed Demeter more or Demeter more I love yeah. Prometheus I'm, I'm a big fan I, of I've Prometheus. definitely come around on Prometheus I think that is mm -hmm. like fair mm -hmm. so I want to like build stuff on A1 and A2 essentially. I'm trying to figure out the greediest way to do it in terms of not losing a ton of workers. I think this is the way because now I get to respawn when I move to A1 if I go for it. And this sort of a uh, corner away from him is playing him on a slight clock. Hmm. Hmm. So clearly he loses it. If he builds another, if he moves up there and builds a level three, that is clearly a time when I should be doming it. Um, if he doesn't, then he pretty much has to dome my B1 square and then do that on the next turn. So I think this move is perfectly fine. Although I didn't look at it as carefully as maybe I should have. I do know that that loses immediately, though. Oh, maybe it doesn't. Well, no, it does. It definitely does. And what the problem here is the up. tempo of it is he has to dome B1, and then he has to dome A1, so he has to make immediate threats. So I think I've won here. But I'm not as sure as I could be. So you've got three left. Yes. Huh. Right. I wonder if four would be enough. Oh, you know, maybe it's not as bad as I thought it was for. No, I took it. Yeah, I, I knew I was kind of taking a gamble and uh, I was just trying to play it differently than the last one where we had this matchup and uh, yeah. Interestingly, uh, to a one get a good feel seems... for how uh, how impactful like that number he has is, if he has five, he wins in two turns here by just double building e three and triple building e five. And if he had four, maybe he could pull it off. I'm not sure. I don't see a win with four. I, I definitely tend to hold off on Morpheus 
I'm sure you both do too, as long as you possibly can. And then I just like, yeah, his early build on E3 was interesting. He did it because he knew uh, that last time when he didn't do that, I was able to get a lot of tempo. I'm not sure if it was good or not. They did spare him a turn a couple moves down the line, I guess. I think forcing the lawful one makes sense, but I'm not sure if it's good. I'm kind of wondering about the utility of, of single building, but no, that, that doesn't work. Single building is just too slow because I build yeah. on a two and then I build on the other thing. Oh, huh? is single building too slow? I think it's too slow. No, because my next turn is going to have to be doming. and then. Well, don't forget, set... when you dome, you can actually build on D3, so there's a little bit more uh, play here than I might have expected. I guess my point was if you double build E3 or single build E3, then like you'd also have that as a move, which might be relevant. But I think this uh, loses, right? Because yeah. you can for sure block that. Yeah. And now he can never get to A1, so he has to like keep using his blocks to do uh, single move threats. I shouldn't really fade the one on E3, but it doesn't matter since he's at zero. Yeah. Yeah, Hydra's uh Hydra's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, that little corner setup is uh <laughs> I've seen that yeah. one too many times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wonder if I could like play through the mind of like trying to get something like that going. Because I usually just place near the center and then move out towards the edge, which I feel like should be better. There, really just, I, like, like I said, I mean, Sheldor, there's a lot of utility in the way that he places on those inner corner spots and just sets it up perfectly to drop a worker right where the you know, defense spot needs to be for the other yeah. player. And, and I just I have, to, I have to respect that, you know? I think, uh, I think Hydra does have a lot of... Um, a pretty reasonably high skill ceiling because like you're making a lot of, same thing with morpheus really because you're making like a lot of uh, decisions on any given turn sure no i i would agree uh, and the, where you it, place the worker matters a lot it's it spirals out of control very quick or just the complexity of your decisions add up over the course of you know and then they go down and then they go up and as the population of workers kind of reflects that mm -hmm. yeah Well, guys, that was great. And uh, I look forward to tomorrow. If, uh, if you guys are both here, that'll be making my day. <laughs> I'm not Likewise. sure if I'll make it tomorrow. I might. Well, you're always welcome. And uh, yeah, this is, this is a great, uh, great fun time for me. <laughs> Pleasure yes. as always. I'll, I'll be uh, thinking up my next moves in the meantime. <laughs> Same for me. Cool. Uh, you guys take care of yourselves. I will see you later. Cheers. Yeah. Likewise. Okay.